Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Nathan and welcome to InfoGamer. This is the first lesson in our tutorial series on how to create the game 2048 in Unity. You can download 2048 for free on both Google Play and the Apple App Store, or you can go to our website at www.infogamerhub.com and play our version from this series. Now for this series, we'll only be creating the most basic mechanics for 2048. And so let me demonstrate what you'll end up with by the end of this series. Here you can see we have our 2048 grid with two starting blocks. Then if I use the keys W WASD, I can move the blocks and have them combined. When the blocks are combined, points are added to our score, and this continues until there are no more blocks that can be combined, at which point it'll trigger a game over screen. Now before we get started, there's one thing that I need to mention, and that is about our membership program on our website. Currently, if you sign up to become a member for $3 a month, you'll then be able to gain exclusive access to the cut and paste code from this tutorial series and other tutorial series on our channel, along with other perks. We're offering this service as a way for everyone to show their support for our channel, which is why it's so affordable. So to get started, the first thing that we want to do is create a new project. And so here I have Unity Hub opened, and I'm going to click New. Now 2048 is typically a 2D game, and so I'm gonna select 2D, and then I'm gonna give my project a name, and we'll just call it 2048 Clone and then click create. Now if I ever go too fast, just remember that you can always pause the video until you've caught up. But once your Unity project is created, the first thing that we want to do is design our scene with the basic structure needed for our game. And so here I have an empty scene, and the only thing that I have in the hierarchy is my camera. But we're going to change that, and so the first thing that we'll create is a UI canvas. And so we'll go to the Create drop-down menu, go to UI and then select Canvas. Now usually when I first create a canvas, I like to change the UI scale mode from constant pixel size, which is the default setting, to scale with screen size. And then depending on my game, whether it's going to be a landscape game or a portrait game, I like to set the reference resolution to match. And since 2048 is usually a portrait held game, I'm going to switch these resolutions to be 600 in the X and 800 in the Y. I'm also going to rearrange my workstation so that it'll work better for a portrait game. Now at this point, I'll set up my scene with all the basic visual components that we need. All right, so this is what I have so far. The first thing that I've created is a UI panel, which I've called Game Panel. This is anchored to all four corners of our canvas and I've changed the image color. We then have another UI panel called 2048 Grid, but this is anchored to the center of our canvas. It has a width of 500, a height of 500. I've also set the image color and I've added a grid layout group. This grid layout group has all four padding set to 10. The cell size is 110 in the X and Y and the spacing is also 10 in the X and Y. I've then also changed the child alignment to be middle center. Then as a child to this grid layout group, I've created a UI image called cell one, and I've set the color to a dark gray. Now there's other UI elements that we need to create, but before we create those, I wanted to make a prefab out of our cell one object. So I'm going to right click in the project window, go to create, folder. I'll name this prefabs. Then we'll select our cell one object and drag it into this folder. This will make it so that we can make modifications to our prefab object and those modifications will be passed on to any instance of the prefab in our scene. But once we've converted this object into a prefab we then want to duplicate this object 15 more times. So I'm going to select it and then hold control and press D. And there we have our 2048 grid. Now this is actually a good stopping point for this first lesson, and so make sure that you go on to the next lesson and continue on with this series. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this first lesson on how to create 2048 in Unity. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do so that you can be up to date with all our latest videos. To get the next lesson in this tutorial series, you can either click on the box or you can find the link to the playlist in the description below.